Okay, so this is going to be my first stream back uh, since we've had to do the whole move thing. And thank you very, very much, Scarlet, for for the uh, for the raid. Uh, I kind of was inspired to go back to something really classic and a game that's kind of very near and dear to me. Um, because another streamer was kind of playing and I was like, oh man, I missed that game. So I figured why not go ahead and have a little fun with it myself. And so yeah, hello Scarlet. Uh, I know uh, Rundown is around here too. I know he's just taking care of a few things, but he will be moderating and in chat soon enough. Uh, and hello there, Hal Jordan. Mr. Go. And of course, you can't see Rundown as, as clearly as you used to be in previous, um, in previous incarnations because he is a across the room over there now. But he is still to my right, just a little further away. And yay, pretentious in chat. I love that new emote. Yeah, pretentious, that's an awesome new emote. But yes, I am going to be doing, go ahead and get this, uh, get this show on the road. Because it's been a long time since I played this. And you're going to have to excuse the fact that it is an emulator. But just as a disclaimer, I do still own the original cartridge. It's just much easier to be able to stream this way. Get back over to not the game. I have a full, hopefully the sound levels are okay. Like I said, it's been a little while since I've played around with this, so. I don't know how many newbies we have to this particular game if you didn't get a chance to, uh, to grow up with it or get a chance to play it on any of the um, virtual consoles, but yeah. The, for the game itself? Okay. Uh, I know. Yeah, so this is still a uh, pre-unpacking stream, so I know you see a whole bunch of boxes there. Don't worry, we already have everything in our new place. We just got a lot of cleanup to do. And yeah, I mean, I still have the original cartridge for this game. I mean, I've also downloaded it in so many different incarnations on different Nintendo consoles. I just don't have it on the Switch at the moment. But yeah, this is a very, very classic game for me. And I, I, I love it very much. Oh, it looks like I went and started something, but let's go ahead and make sure we don't miss anything. For all I know, I could have played around and not even done the first day and already done the first part so let's but uh, I believe the game volume is a little low at least according to my moderator so hold on just a moment let's let's see if we can't make sure that that's gonna be audible Uh, actually, there was not. The only time I remember them doing that was the very first game. If you put Zelda in, you could skip directly to the second quest. So, I am a prisoner in the castle- in, in, in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Arganim has done- has, got, has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Arganum has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's wise men's seal. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. All right. I think I'm gonna go. Out, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. And we all already know whenever your protagonist is told something by their parental guardian or some form of uh, some form of guardian, they're not going to listen. <laughs> I might have to double check my buttons here. So, oh, yep, that did exactly what I thought it was going to do. One moment, please. I'm using a different controller, so my button configuration does not seem to be up to snuff, so let's fix that. Because this should be. That's better.
I used a very different con uh, controller before this one, so. All right, that's better. Again, apologies. Let's get back to this. Okay, so that's that's correct. There we go. Said don't leave the house. Come on, you told the teenager not to not to do something. They're clearly gonna do it. Well, it looks like the music got turned off. Hold on a second. And it's still not doing what it's supposed to do. Not supposed to be filled in. Here we go. Now I gotta figure out where all the music channels went. That's silly. Yeah, I don't know why the game sound suddenly stopped. It's like, what did you do? Let me try resetting the game and see if that actually helps. Let me go ahead and save state. Control menu, game mode. <laughs> Very cool. Now it seems to be working. Oh yeah, I, I can also send you the uh, the the link to the one that I'm using. Hey, it's Leon. Yeah, and in Leon, I can definitely send over a uh, a link to the one that I'm using for when I'm actually streaming off my Switch. That actually works pretty well.
it's going to be another one that I say could potentially increase. I, I, oh, I thought I burned out my USB, uh, my USB, um, one of my slots, only because uh, it actually got so hot I needed to actually get an oven mitt to take it out. Ah, uh, now it's the other way around. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Using this mic is a, a, a little, a little more difficult. For some reason, it doesn't pick up uh, the sound nearly as well. I can also make sure that the sound configuration is turned back down a little more. There we go. Hopefully that's all right. I actually can't unless I change which type of mic I'm using. I mean, I can't switch to my headset if this is definitely not going to be um, loud enough. Unless that helps. Maybe that'll help. Possibly, but I also know this mic takes a bit to actually pick up voice, so sometimes I end up having to use my, um, I end up having to use my headset. Ah. Well, as you can see behind us, it's taking a little bit. Ah. There we go. Now, we at least got a lot of the kitchen unpacked, but we still got quite a long ways to go.
I'm not even screwing with that dude with the flail. So thank you, Link. I had a feeling you were getting close. Link, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? Yep. Alright, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. Yes. Woohoo! Thank you very much. Thank you, Nintendo 72. And again, ma always, with making the Moogles happy. There's a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. That ornamental shell, shell should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch black. It's pitch dark inside, and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. Good old ropes. They were an even bigger pain in the ass in the first game. After passing through these sewers, we will be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful. Oh, right. Wrong button. Rats are a lot of money.
taken all their money. All their money. How the rats are able to carry that much money when the rupees is as big as they are, I don't know. Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to do with that, but... Sometimes rope have some money, so why not? So far, the new place, it's, you know, we got, we got a, a small little house, but with it being just the two of us, um, and the cats, it's actually, it, it, it'll definitely work well for us, especially after being in such a tiny little apartment. But as also, you can, as you can see in the background, as I was saying uh, earlier to a few people, the, uh, packing process still needs to get done. Well, the unpacking process still needs to get done. But at the very least, everything is here. Alright, let's go ahead and keep running around. I like to do little side shit too, like, um, I realize I didn't put it in the title, but this is probably going to be a multi-parter as I'm going to try to do 100% uh, completion as well as, uh, no deaths. So I, there are some spots where I'm going to take my sweet old time, and then other spots I'm just going to be like, let's just go kill everything and be done with it. And it's really funny because as a kid, I didn't I'm, like playing these games. And when the NPCs would talk about certain things, I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Excuse me. And I know it's meant to be hints for different parts of the game. But a lot of it went right over my head. So I was just like, whatever. <laughs>
that and I also stopped doing a lot of the reading on these only because I have this thing where uh, my brain starts auto-completing stuff and it's going a little faster than my reading so I keep screwing up some of the words just because I'm like mentally inserting words that aren't there or I expect from certain figures of speech so I'm trying to leave the the uh, text up on the screen a little bit longer for, for people to be able to read it without me butchering it Yay, heart pieces! Now for random acts of vandalism. <laughs> So, fun fact, this little bit of bushes right here near the, um, this little shed that you can open often has probably the highest chance I've seen of being able to get yourself a fairy, um, if you're low on health or would like to fill up your bottles. I mean, yeah, once you can really move around and find fairy fountains, obviously that's the best place for it. But if you happen to be in town because you're doing whatever, that little patch, for some reason, like, just go cut them all down, go back inside, in and out. You should be able to get a fairy or two within, you know, a couple of uh, passes at that particular group of bushes.
Oh, and for those of you who might be new to this, the Karens in town will call the cops on you. Because you kidnapped the princess by this point. And those two boys were in a fight, so opening the door because I need to get through. So they can hash this shit out. Should have gone around the other way, but that's that that's okay. And I can go to one of those aforementioned fairy fountains since this is the direction I'm going to need to go anyway. set for the for this dungeon
Nah, I can get that too soon. That's better. That was 20. No. Oh, that's okay. I don't think I needed anything else from the bottles anyway, but that's alright. Yep, now the bubbles are gonna go everywhere. I hate those things. I mean, I love them once I get magic powder, but... And fun thing to note, mature, a lot of temples, if you find anything like this or an open path that you could jump down over an unlit lantern, there's likely a fairy fountain down there.
<laughs> yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites actually of the series too. It's it's a very it's very close to um uh to Ocarina of Time. And hello super girly. I am glad to see you online again. So far, so good. As you can tell from behind me, there's still plenty of things to unbox. Yeah, honestly, it's it's and we also have really nice neighbors too. Like Rundown and I have already had a very nice chat with uh, the lady that lives across the street and um um a couple of the neighbors that are a little further down the street too. They're all really really nice. All right, so we got one dungeon down, but so while we have that one dungeon down, Let's take a moment to shout out some really awesome people. Give me a second. Oh, you got it? Thank you. One of my, uh, another one of my moderators and really awesome super friendly streamer pretenses, so make sure you're gonna give them all sorts of gamer love too. And Scarlet Game Show, one of our, our uh, close personal friends. Who loves to give 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 me raids, which I appreciate, and of course Super Girly, who is super fabulous, and you should be following if you don't. And dust boots. There are times I feel like I pseudo speedrun this with knowing where everything where everything is from playing this so many times. Alright, now that I got the boots too though. This means I'm going to do the very scary track to try to go get the ice rod a little early in the game. Because the ice rod is exceptionally useful versus the next boss. Because it's so powerful. I am- okay, I am- I am only somewhat flexing on lemon pie, okay? I absolutely adore Lemon Pie, and he is incredibly entertaining. Um, and he's been playing, but in his defense, he is playing um, an old retro game that he had never played before, so he has no idea how anything even works in the game. Um, so yes, he was ha he was struggling with points on it, but I've played this so much ever since I was also younger that uh, yeah. It's practically cheating. I 
I do know that there is another pretty awesome streamer that's also going to get a chance. It is also going to stream this uh, next month for the because next month is going to mark the uh, 35th anniversary for the Legend of Zelda series. So she'll be playing this one next month. So if you miss any parts of uh, what I'm doing, you'll be able to also catch uh, catch it with um, uh, H Majo Hikari. If uh, oops, stupid, stupid baby mold worms. How dare you? Hate those things. Just makes it. Okay, cool. I'm in here taking all your shit. As I pretty much almost max out on money already. Yeah. It's good to know where shit is. The only thing is this area area gets very hairy when you're trying to deal with well first of all those electric cucumbers which you'd need to stun first and those crabs those the crabs are over here will actually do two full hearts of damage so they are a wee bit dangerous for early in the game Like I get I get a little jumpy around them just because I'm like, oh god, don't hit me. I don't want to die yet. In fact, I'm trying to not die at all. In fact, I will be back over to this area later when I can actually start picking up blocks, but this this item is just too good to leave here. I think it's intended that you should be have done the second dungeon before going for it, but I like using it for the second dungeon boss. I right, gotta get out of here without dying to crabs. I thought that crab was going to hit me in the face. Instead, this bee is being obnoxious. Ah, oh, the crows are here. So this little thing that likes to hide, Let's see if I can do it, no, 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 oh, no, no, ah, too far to the edge. Yay, bombs.
Come here. Come here, fish. No, no. Come here, fish. There we go. Look, I'm trying to save you, fish. Get in the water. We don't ask questions about the rupee-given fish. We just know they exist. Oh, right. I gotta go back to the town first. Here I am just trying to, like, be like, I can go get this thing and that thing. Whoa. Do not shoot me, sir. Do not want. Ah. That came straight at my face. Actually, that, that reminds me of other things, particular types of blocks that you could slam into. You run into things, blow them up, there's all sorts of fun- Oh, okay, this is an old fairy fountain. That's right. I think it's the Dark World, where that area has a, um, heart piece. Let's see, what other things can I go get? Alright, nothing important enough for right now, so we can go ahead and go to the dun to the dungeon. I think this is a great fairy fountain. Yep. 
Well, I probably should say Great Fairy Fountain. I meant a, a better fairy fountain, not necessarily the Great Fairies, but you know what I mean. Right, don't do it right away. Wait at least another second or so, and usually you can run right through, but... I don't remember the exact timing anymore. It's kind of funny, for a while some of your most deadly weapons are literally throwing pots at things. first which actually just got it duh why go this way I love that they ended up calling it a power glove
definitely one of those Nintendo. I see what you did there. There are days I feel like I'm, like, the only one old enough to remember some of those subtle things, though. <laughs> comes up. His lazy beams. Oh, actually using a power glove? That would actually be pretty fantastic. I'm not even gonna lie. I could 100% see using a, a, an old power glove for um, for a LARP prop, especially something post-apocalyptic. In the living floor tiles, I fucking hate them. Almost as much as I hate whiz robes, but it's it's up there. Yes. In fact, I am upset that you didn't have one, actually, Scarlet, because I feel like it's it's as classic as the idea of having a universal remote. What am I doing is called tempting fate. There we go. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Yeah, this is cheaty as fuck, but it works. I'm not far enough- I'm far enough on the screen to be on screen, but not far enough for the, these things to actually be able to hit me. Only because these ones trigger by just being in the room as opposed to actually walking across a point of the room. And if you're trying not to die, you may as well not bother. Yep. Yeah, it, yeah, it does. And that's what's actually kind of really amusing about it. Oh, this bitch. I hate these. Like, I know they're all over, like, the last dungeon, but they're just so annoying because you can't really hit them with the... You have to use arrows for them. Alright, let's hope. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's just because the doorways also, too, aren't really considered part- Yeah, part of those floor tiles. Now, let's hope I can aim this well. Uh, I'm already not doing so hot. It's gonna be one of those nights, huh? Ah, uh, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Here. 
don't make me resort to using arrows, please. I'm being a little more reckless here only because I have two fairies. Because uh, I don't enter dungeons without them. too far. Yeah, my aim was absolutely this poor tonight. Because normally that's exactly why I go get the ice rod first. Now I also have the ability to lift up blocks and stuff. Right? I mean, eventually it gets to a point that having a Feria 2 and then having uh, actual potions in the in the bottle is far more effective. Only because fairies only restore so much. They're just convenient if you go if you misstep and you have a no fuck moment. <laughs> but at lower levels when you don't have that many hearts, it's like hooray, it is a whole new life bar for you. Didn't actually mean to kill that little guy, but that's okay. And going back over to where... To where the ice rod was, only because... Only because there's another heart piece over there. Oh, freaking hell. Ooh, well, I'm glad you did that instead of shock me. But now I'm going to kill you because you're in the way. It is a get out of death free card. Absolutely. And if the game doesn't consider it a death, then I don't consider it a death. And fairies can bring you back and it doesn't go on to the death counter. So... You know what? Eat it. Eat that rock. Eat it and like it, you little bitch. Hate the crabs. They do way too much goddamn damage. <laughs> How about this one had a heart down here? Let me guess. I am probably thinking of the dark world, but just to be safe. And there is a creature that is kind of a, a an extra thing in the game that I suppose I can go go get it later, but I don't like to actually use a uh, bottle for it. I mean, it's a fun novelty thing, I suppose, in the earlier parts of the um, the game, but the good bee, there is actually a celestial bee that lives in, in that cave too, that you can keep in a jar and let it out to go beat the shit out of everything on the screen and then just scoop it back up and put it back in a bottle. I 
thought that crow wouldn't have been able to hit me there. Oh well. Is this the one? It is not. Actually, I might be able to... Nope, it's not that one. I do know about this one, though. Uh, you didn't get the good B? Because, I mean... At some point, I'm more than happy to to uh, go back later in game just so you can check it out. Because a lot of people didn't understand um, one of the hints. They thought the hint was, oh, the thing that lives over at Lake Hylia. They weren't talking about the ice rod, even though the ice rod's there. They're talking about the celestial bee. Yeah, I want to go this way for now. Right. Okay. Then yeah, I will have one of the at one of these points um, when I start getting some more. Yeah, when I get more bottles and such, and I'm not using it for making sure that my ass doesn't get doesn't get killed, I will go grab it just so you can kind of see the hilarity that kind of ensues with it. Because it is funny. Although, ah, uh, you know what? I'm wondering. I wonder if it would be worth it for the temple, especially dealing with the. Um, the orb octopi. I always thought this was kind of a cute thing. If you threw bushes in the water, sometimes you get the fish to pop up out of the river. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. take it and stuck in those corner spots. Oh, it was the lower one. Uh I for for the I actually remember it for the most part, honestly. Um which is why I, I've actually done a 100% zero um, death run a couple of times already. But no, I, I pretty much know this game inside and out, and I actually went and spent the effort to figure out where all the heart containers were and kind of memorize where they were. Um, 
and just remembering where th there's sometimes that I will confuse certain spots with between light world and dark world, which obviously comes up in a little bit. Um, but for the most part, yeah, doing a 100% run on this, and we are going to have a kind of a tongue-in-cheek um, play with glitches because I, f I find it amusing. Because I think the emulator will let me do it. I know it was actually the... Yay, another heart. Um, I know one thing that was actually amusing was when I had my... Um, the, the Nintendo Wii ages ago and I downloaded and I downloaded the game on their virtual console on there too because it was a direct port it did not get rid of the coding issue that would allow one of the really big uh, glitches to occur so I'm wondering if the if the, it's still gonna be a thing. Yeah, but no joke, I've played the ever-living shit out of this. This would be a great fairy. And there are times I do like to tell my net to uh, tell my nephew that uh, I've played this. I've played this game, and this game is older than he is. So, in fact, I'm fairly certain that I've memorized. Uh, I've done the hundred percent completion before he was born, even. Actually, let's do this. Oh no, I can't go down there. But, come on. Ah, uh, water physics. Fucking hate you. There we go. Yeah, between this one and Ocarina of Time, they're both, um, they're, they're both probably my, 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 they're tied for favorite for me. Um, Link's Awakening is also really good, and for anybody that has a Switch, um, that may have been a fan of the old Game Boy game, they did a remake, and I might stream that one as well, because, uh, it's fairly true to the original game, but it also has a nice flair that they've added to, ooh, excuse me, they've added to it as well. Excuse me a moment there. <laughs> yeah, this fairy fountain, the, the wishes, from my understanding is there's no actual... They don't actually... They don't actually do anything? Um, I think I remember uh, one of one of my friends mentioning that it meant that that you had a chance to after a certain number of enemies being able to get like a bomb or an arrow or something like that. But the only thing that um, you really use it for is increasing your inventory space. For every hundred rupees, you get to add uh, another denomination uh, to your arrows or bombs, just like this. I like explosives. And now that you've done it once, you can actually up it so it's only tw you can do it twice instead of having to do it five times. And 
And I will get back to Hyrule, uh, Hyrule Warriors. I'm probably still going to try to do that on Tuesdays when I'm not playing with the ladies. Or I'll try to log in earlier so I can, um, I can play that for a bit before changing over to hang out with the ladies. Yeah, I got some money here. I may as well go ahead and and, and do the thing. Like, let me just throw a hundred at a time. I already know where this is going. Arrows are just incredibly useful. When you can carry so many of them, it's like... Like, right now, it is slightly stronger than your actual sword. So... And yeah, I know I'm spending everything now, but believe me, there's plenty of rupees to be had considering I was already maxed out for a while. And yeah, more bombs. Can't get that heart piece as of yet. You know what, since I've got it, and I have two fairies that will be enough to be able to get through the next dungeon anyway, and because I did mention that sometimes the good bee is kind of amusing for dealing with the orb, the orb squids, the orb octorox up in the tower, I think I'm gonna go, because I think I can just swim over. And go get that bee. rude. go so if you know uh, it's a little hard to tell in, in this area but um, it is a glittery little bee and it is called the good bee Okay.
And I think we'll still have some time to be able to get up the mountain and do an extra save state for us to be able to futz around with some of the fun glitches. Some of you may already be familiar with with the dark mountain descent, but I still think it's fun. I'm sure somebody at Nintendo will be mad if they see it, but whatever. That was dumb. Hi, landmine. Actually, you know what? That was silly of me. I should have went back into that. No, nope, I should have went back into the thing. Alright, let's... Let's take care of at least this part first. Go revisit an old area since we couldn't actually open the wall. Oh no, this one I can push. Oh, well, I'm already maxed out on those secondaries, but that's alright. The 300 rupees are kind of a big deal. Rats are still worth a lot of money. Hi, I'm back. And I'm leaving. Oh, yes. I almost forgot about that spot, too, but I will... Well, I'm gonna get that on the way back. Because I gotta come back that way anyway. Actually, I could jump over this way. Wee. Yay, magic powder. Now bubbles aren't going to be such a big deal.
Here, hold that for me. Yep, that one's just because you have to fall in to see the fairy. <sighs> okay. It so it does transform the the pickle things, but the problem is is that they're still they're electrified um they're electrified cousins. Over in the dark world. However, they are also the best ones to get full magic by shooting by shooting them with um, the ice the ice rod and then smacking them with a hammer. Okay, yep, they're not going to be done yet. Oh, right, 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 gotta go this way. Oh yeah, me too. I thought that that was a pretty good, um, I thought that was pretty cool. I actually, like, I don't mind the, uh, the idea of some of the gimmicks, but I also think what's good about the hammer, the hammer boss is that there are other ways to handle him, even if the hammer is the primary weapon you're supposed to be using for it. because you can also use bombs on the hammer boss. At least to remove the shield and then when he's going all crazy, you can just keep smacking him or use the arrows if you want to give yourself some distance. If you really want to get close range and use the hammer even after his shield is gone, more power to you because it definitely does do a lot of damage. It's just way more dangerous and, and it's a slower swing. Uh, it does. Um, I primarily use that mostly on bosses that I don't really have another another choice to u to but to use that one only because it depends on um, if I need the mana or not. Something like that. Yeah, you can use the ice rod. In fact, I've done that quite a bit too. Anything to kind of give you range when he starts basically going crazy and swinging his tail around and all that crazy bullshit um, is useful. So ice rod it most certainly does work too. Yes, yeah, so like arrows and I and the ice rod both absolutely do work. Um, the ice rod is slightly slower in execution, um, which is why sometimes I'll use the arrows. And I like using the ice rod normally on the mold worms in um, the second. No, lind worms. I'm sorry, the worms in the second uh, dungeon only because they take a little bit to appear and then run and then hop away. So you have a moment for the ice rod to really pick up. Um, to be able to do the damage, I just had real shit aim today. Just 
just when he's going crazy, you can switch to the ice rod when he takes a moment to open his mouth and spit fireballs at you. It is, and that's, it's, however, once you get, once you beat that boss, though, when you can actually get to the um, half consumption buff, that makes it a little more viable to use it more often, but it is certainly lovely in a pinch when you're dealing with the uh, bosses that don't have as much HP, or they expect a different gimmick that doesn't do as much damage anyway. So, I mean, the, the Ice Rod is almost a cheat in some of the lower levels because it does so much damage. Um, and, but it's dangerous to get, so a lot of people don't necessarily go for it right away. And you don't actually absolutely need it until the very last boss before, um, the very last crystal boss. Hello, General Zod! I'm glad to see you in chat! The move went just fine, and yes, as you can tell, we are not unpacked yet. <laughs> but, um, I didn't stream for... For a while actually or over the weekend so it was like all right i haven't streamed in like a week more than a week so let's get on that hey i'm telling you bombs are, are, are always something that is somewhere in my repertoire when needed as you can tell why i gave myself more uh higher capacity of bombs <laughs> Well, that's very much appreciated. So, let's see if I can... Oh, sweet! I didn't re Oh, that's right! Rundown did tell me that you started streaming. Uh, definitely a huge congrats on that. I hope you're having a good time with it. And yes, okay, the spot I need to go to to play around a little bit. Uh, let's see. So I don't screw that up. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and let's go over here, because, yeah, I know, this This is one of my favorite games, so I'm doing this as 100% no death run. So far, definitely no deaths. I've got as much stuff as I possibly can so far per items that I've uh, unlocked. I try to kind of grab stuff as I go. Don't you dare. Alright, fine, 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 I'll go back to the fairy pond. takes so long for them to make the decision to be like, here, here's some damage reduction. After you've had the shit beat out of you most of this game. No, 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 no. Not dealing with mold orbs. Yeah, it's a little intimidating at first, like, I mean, when, uh, it, yeah, it is definitely very intimidating at first, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we don't have to go that way. Oh no, I do want to go this way, because I want to jump down the hole. There we go. I remember I first streamed a couple about four years ago because I was playing Undertale with a friend of mine. Um, we were basically simul streaming us doing, um, which I'm 
I think they wanted to call it No Mercy Mode, but a lot of people called it the True Genocide Run because essentially you're killing literally everything. All right, I'm still down a lot of health, but that's all right. Let's see what. I, I hate boulders. Okay. Okay, so let's again. We're saving um that glitch spot. This one requires it's so picky. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do this. Trying to remember which one it is. I think it might be over here. Oh, I have to be in the dark world to do it. That's right. So let's swap that. Let's get back up there. Oh, dang it. Stupid. Thankfully, I have fairies. That's what I have them for. Plus, we are on the... Uh, I'm kind of... Switch gears off of the normal... Normal run here. Yeah, it's really cool when you're when you log in and you see people that you recognize or even you start making friends with people that you know you start to see more often. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. I think I'm too far. Yep. It's so picky. So the whole point of the way this glitch is supposed to work is that you're supposed to basically be just far enough. Oh, Four Swords is a lot of fun. The reason I never actually ended up completing that is because I wanted to play with other people and it's not as fun with just the AI. Oh, you do have it. Oh, that's right. You do need to get it. Yeah. This is very difficult to try to finagle this just right. Come on. Hop down. Dang it! Executing this glitch is not easy. Wondering if I'll even be able to do it though. Mer. Hmm. I used to be able to execute that glitch, but I might not be able to as well. Which is which is really really sad because it's kind of it's it's really freaky. So I like actually being able to do it. Essentially, the whole purpose of the glitch is to try to hop down and be able to explore the um, some of the dark world without actually properly being in the dark world. So 
Um. It's like trying to move pixel at a time. Ah! Why, thank you so much for the sub. I. Oh, even better, you gifted one to Leon. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. And yeah, no, totally at some point, we should definitely do um, a Four Swords because that would be pretty neat. It's like trying to move it a pixel at a time. Can you jump? Do the jump. So rude. <laughs> Unless I'm forgetting one very important step, which I think I am. I'm wondering if the emulator is not going to let me do it. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to leave this for later, and I'll leave this on the separate save state to see if we can't get that to work later. So let's get to back to our un... Let's, do, let's go back here. All right, let's go... Oh, yeah. I have been such a big fan of this series through most of my life. I actually have a Triforce tattoo... Uh, just, uh, just below my neck, um, on my back. I've cosplayed Link, and I have a full set of four, uh, three different colored tunics. Landstalker. I'm not as familiar with that one. I played one called Night Stalker uh, ages ago when I had the Intellivision. Okay. Yeah, I, I've been a Nintendo fangirl since I was been about six when we got the system. Let's see if I can... Yeah, especially fire from those things, bad.
Yeah, we had we had the Intellivision. I didn't have we didn't have Pong. My parents knew my parents knew a little bit about that, although they were more movie buffs. Go B, go! Come back here, you. There you go. Yes, I actually, yeah, I actually uh, got that, I had that game on the Intellivision as well. I know it was, an, uh, it was also on the Atari, but uh, I had, I had actually played it on Intellivision, the AD&D Cloudy Mountain. Yeah, that's another that's another game I played the crap out of. Yeah, we want to leave it like that. Oh yeah, the fact that there, there were different sounds between them was pretty awesome. Even for just one of those old 8-bit games.
Sadly, the B does not work on bosses. Believe me, I've tried. Now let's see if my aim sucks tonight, too, with this guy. Yep. Oh, that's right. You can't actually use it on him. Disappointed! Nope, nope, nope. No pushing me off by that ledge, you jerk. Hold on, I did something a little stupid. But now I don't want to care about the boss, so whatever. forgot the actual chest for the dungeon. And the thing is, it's not an item you use for the boss, so it's really easy to forget. Listen, Rundown's giving me shit. Over there being like, so have you tried not walking into fire? Fire is warm and comfortable, thank you very much. But did you die? Oh, nah, I I got plenty of rupees for now.
it's not necessary to do this part to do this to actually translate what's on the pedestal but i think it's kind of cool but the hero's triumph on cataclysm's eye win three symbols of virtue the master sword he will then retrieve keeping the knight's line true See, don't want to go that way. Eh, this is fine. Oh, nope, can't do that one. Gotta do this one, because I don't have the 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 big kid the bigger kids power glove yet. Okay, well, there's there's the cliffhanger we're going to leave this on for tonight. Uh, so I will continue doing this, I think, on Thursdays for a bit. Um, just doing some more, maybe some more, Ze maybe marathon a couple Zelda games for, for giggles as well. Again, make sure you also get a chance to check out, um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and put her name in chat because... First of all, let's go ahead and uh, also save that. And uh, at some night, we will try to futz around once again with trying to get to execute the glitch. But we're going to say it, put that on a separate save file so it's not interfering with this one. Um, and let me go ahead and give a shout out to... You know, if it wants to let me do it. Uh, she doesn't have to be in channel for me to do it. Hikari. She's been playing a lot of class. She likes a lot of the same classic games that I do. She's a very cool person and a very. She likes to create safe spaces, just like any uh, the rest of us. That like to let, let people to come in, be gamers, and enjoy themselves. So please make sure you're checking her out. Um, and thank you very much, uh, Talonwind. I will be continuing this. We we will go continue to chase after Princess Zelda, and um, I will continue to strive for our hundred percent, our hundred percent run. So far, we are 100% with no deaths. Again, fairy deaths do not count because the game doesn't count it. So sometimes using that as a strategic thing is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, but, uh, and also too, um, make sure you're checking out all the other great streamers that we that we have in here as well. Scarlet Game Show, why not Leon69? Obviously, uh, and now we have our new, our, our new streamer, General Zod. Make sure you're checking him out. And of course, my husband and, and uh, moderator run down 015 and we also have pretentious gaming and let's go ahead and make see who's actually online right now and um, I can go ahead and shut this shut this down and let's see who's on right now so we can go ahead and give some more love to people all right 
so let's see. Let's go with I haven't actually raided him in a while, so let's give Invincible One a raid. And he's another one who's very cool. Love uh, you know, great chats to 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 sit and chill if you'd like to socialize some more. And again, very cool dude. So we should totally go hang out with him. Again, I do appreciate everybody coming to hang out with me. And uh, I'm going to try to be on you. Hopefully we'll be able to get more of these boxes cleaned up. It's going to be a while, so bear with us. I do apologize for a bit of the background. But we should get a green screen. But anyways, have a wonderful night and enjoy, enjoy the raid if you decide to stick around, all right? Thank you all so, so much for coming, to, coming tonight. Bye.